Hello everyone, this is Education Hamper and today we will be working our way through the Bancroft's Prep School 7 Plus Mathematics sample paper. As always, pause the video at each question, attempt it yourself first and then we can walk through the solution. Let's get straight into the paper. So first thing we need to do is put our name in, so that will be the Education Hamper. Education hamper. Now, question one. Can you work out the answers to these sums? Please put your answers in the box. Three plus two is equal to five. Twelve minus four is equal to eight. Five times four, this is your four times table. And that gives us twenty. 9 plus 6 plus 8, a little bit tricky, but we'll split this up into our separate sections. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. And then 15 plus 8 is equal to 23. So the answer is 23 here. 18 minus 9 gives us 9. 6 times 3 gives us 18. So the next question we have is, complete these questions in the same way you normally do. You can draw a number line if it helps you. 32 plus 14. So let's do it with a number line in this case. So we start off with number 32, and then we need to walk 14 across. So let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So let's jump 14 across here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That gives us an answer of 46. Next question, 23 plus 15. So we'll do it a slightly different way. Plus 15. Start off on the right hand side, 3 plus 5 is 8. 2 plus 1 is 3, that gives us an answer of 38. Next question. 46 minus 29. So here we will do 46 minus 29. And if you remember, when you're doing subtractions, you start on the right hand side, but this number has to be bigger than the, the number below. But in this case, it's smaller. So 6 is smaller than 9. So we going to have to steal a 1 from this side. So we'll take a 1 from here. So we drop that down by 1. And then we put the 1 that we took on the right hand side. So 16 minus 9 is 7. 3 minus 2 is 1. That gives us an answer of 17. And again we do the same on this one. 73 minus 36. So 3 is smaller than 6, so we'll have to steal a 1. So we'll take a 1 from this side, put it over here. 13 minus 6 gives us 7, and 6 minus 3 gives us 3. That gives us an answer of 37. So question 6. Here we've got to work out the solution to these questions. So 4 times a number gives us 8. So think about our 4 times table, or 2 times table, 4 times 2 gives us 8. 9 is equal to 6 plus a sine 3. So 6 plus 3 will give us 9. 9, the sine 4 minus 2. What do we need to do to 9 and 4? If we add the 9 and 4, that gives us 13. And then you subtract the 2 from that gives us 11. So 2 times 4 is 8, 
So 4 plus 4 is 8. Let's move on to the next question. Question 8. The rule for this number sequence is add 4. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 11 plus 4 is equal to 15. 15 plus 4 is equal to 19. That makes sense. 19 plus 4 is equal to 23. So 23 plus 4 gives us 27. And 27 plus 4 is 31. What is the rule for this pattern? So let's take a look at this. First number is 24, and then it goes to 21. The difference between these two is 3. So if you do 24 minus 3, that gives us 21. So let's see if that works. If we subtract 3 from 21, that gives us 18. So, and the same 18 minus 3 is equal to 15. So it looks like there's a difference of 3, and you have to subtract 3. So the rule is subtract 3. Question 9. Write these numbers in order of start in order starting with the smallest. So the smallest number we have is number 2. Then we move on to 14 then 29 and then the last of the two digit numbers 99. Then we get to the three digit number. So which is the smallest of these? 123 is smaller than 132 and 154. So that would be 123. And of these two numbers that are remaining, the 132 is smaller than 154. So 132 and then 154. Question 10. Look at these numbers. Tick two numbers that are greater than 50. So, is 74 greater than 50? I would say yes. 27 greater than 50? No. 45 greater than 50? No. 64 greater than 50? Yes. So we've done that. Cross two numbers that are less than 40. So if we go back here, if 27 is less than 40. 45 is greater than 40. That's not the answer there. 39 is 1 less than 40, so that is correct here. Circle a number with 6 tens. So is there a number here on this side we haven't used? 6 tens. So 68 has 6 tens. So that. So that's the 10 bit there. Shade the number with 5 units. So if we look here, 15, there's 1 10 and 5 units. So this is a number we need to shade. Question 12. Johnny has five football stickers. He then buys a pack of 12, but gives six of them to his little sister. How many stickers does he have left in total? So let's just, if we start on this side of the question, so he bought a pack of 12, but then he gave six to his six sister. So we subtract six from that. And that gives us an answer of six, but he started off having 5, so we need to add 5 to this. So 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So the answer is 11 here. Avani gets 85 pence pocket money a week. This is given to her in four silver coins. Draw the coins she is given. So the four types of silver coin we have are 50 pence, 20 pence, 10 pence and 5 pence. So we have to make 85 pence using these four coins. Uh, let's go with the largest coin first, which is 50 pence. What do we need to add to 50 to get close to 85? So if we add 20 to that, do the little maths over here, 50 plus 20, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7. So now we're at 70 pence. Now if we add a 10 pence to this, so if we go down here, add 10 pence, 0 plus 0 is 0, 7 plus 1 is 8. So we're at 80, and so we're missing just 5 pence, so if we add another 5 pence here, so if we add 5, 0 plus 5 is 5, 8 plus 0 is 8, 85. That's the answer, 50, 20, and 10, and 5. 
Question 14. Eric buys a banana. His friend Jenny buys a kiwi. How much more does Eric spend? So let's highlight the two that we need to look at. Eric buys the banana. And Jenny buys the kiwi. So how much more did Eric spend? So this is a subtraction question. So the banana costs 42 pence and the kiwi 26. 2 is smaller than 6, so we need to steal a 1. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. So Eric spent 16 pence more. Question 14. Mohammed has a bag of red balls. He has 15 balls in the bag. He takes some out and is left with 4 balls in the bag. How many balls did he take out? So the easiest thing to do is to circle four balls. One, two, three, four. So all of these he took out. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he took out eleven balls. Question 15. Michael bought three plums. He paid with 40 pence and got 10 pence change. How much did each plum cost? So, so he bought, he paid 40 pence and he got 10 pence change. So if you take that as 0 plus, minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 1 is 3. So he spent 30 pence on 3 plums. 30 pence on 3 plums. How much does each plum cost? So we need to look at our three times table. What do we need to do to three to make 30 pence? So if we multiply by 10, so if each one costs 10 pence, then that would give us 30 pence. So each plum costs 10 pence. Question 16. Put a cross beside each shape which has a quarter shaded. So, four segments, one side is shaded, that's one out of four, that gives us a quarter. Four segments, one section is shaded out of four, that gives us a quarter. Four segments, nothing is shaded, so that's, that's a whole, that doesn't give us a quarter. And this is two segments and only one is shaded, so that's a half, so that's not something we need to shade here. Question 17. Shade in three quarters of this shape. So there's four quarters and we need to sh shade three of them. So let's shade one of those, that gives us a quarter, and then we give us two quarters, and then three quarters. Question 18. Write down the correct name of these shapes. So let's see, this is a rectangular shape, straight sides, sphere, cuboid, pentagon. Pentagon has five sides, sphere is round, must be cuboid. Pentagon has five sides, one, two, three, four, five, so this is a pentagon. And this is a round shape, so this is a sphere. Right, question 19. Match the items on the left to how much you think they weigh. The first one has been done for you. A bag of sugar weighs 1 kg. A grown-up man, 10 grams, 70 kilograms, or 200 grams. So a grown-up man weighs more than a bag of sugar, and the only number that's bigger than a bag of sugar is 70 kilograms. So that must be the answer. A cup of water... 10 grams or 200 grams. So if you think about it, the other option is a pencil, and a pencil weighs less than a glass of water. Uh, so the number that's smallest here is 10 grams. So 10 grams must belong to the pencil, and a cup of water must weigh 200 grams. Right, on to question 20. Draw a line from each clock to the correct time. One has been done for you. So the first one has half past 10. So here we need to have a look at this one, which is 
before six o'clock so it's a quarter of the clock towards six so is there anything that looks like that it's a quarter past three that doesn't look right seven o'clock no quarter to six so it's a quarter to six so this one is here um, next one we can do an easy one which is this is a whole hour so this is seven o'clock so that's there and so this one must be the remaining one which is quarter past three so it's a quarter past th three hour so there we are so on to question number 22 fill in the missing number so we have a missing number which we need to add 220 and 140 to give us 520 so let's take the sum of these two first 220 plus 140 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 plus 1 is 3, so some of these two is 360. To work out this missing number, we need to know the difference between the answer, which is 520, and the 360. So let's subtract these two. 520 minus 360, 0 minus 0 is 0, 2 minus 6, so the 2 is smaller than the 6, so here we need to steal a 1. So now it becomes 12 minus 6, so that gives us 6, 4 minus 3 is 1, so the answer here is 160. Question number 23, tick the shapes that have at least one right at angle. So let's go on the triangle, here we have a triangle and it seems to have a right angle right here. So that's tick, this is an oval shape, it doesn't have any right angle so we don't tick here. Here we have a parallelogram. And the parallelogram doesn't have any right angle 90 degrees, um, so that's not a shape that we will tick. And here we have a shape in, in the form of an, an arrow, um, and this has a 90 degree here, and that has 90 degree here, so then that is a tick here. So question 24, look at the bar chart below, answer the questions underneath. The pets owned by pupils at Applegate School. So we have dogs, cats, goldfish, birds, and hamsters. First question, how many goldfish are owned by pupils? So dogs, cats, goldfish. Come along to the top of that bar chart and try and draw a straight line. And that gives us the answer four. Next question, draw another bar on the chart to show three pu pupils had pet mice. So it looks like hamsters are at three. So if we copy this height that gives us three and that's mice right that brings us to the end of the paper well done for working your way through the paper any questions that were difficult please post them in the comments below um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you